Welcome aboard, Raider Nation. Um, well, today is Wednesday. Having some massive problems with YouTube. Um, I posted up the video, uh, hopefully, that you watched. But if you haven't, um, I had two clips on there. One clip was from the last Boy Scout. Another clip was from Friday. Um, and they pretty aggressively went after it and, uh, and shut it down. So I won't be doing any of those types of things anymore. Just going to go ahead and stick to the images, uh, moving images, um, and some different things. But I do want to thank, uh, uh, Elias from the, um, oh, uh, Raider Nation Times uh, for giving me the idea of creating, uh, instead of just doing a 30-minute thing, breaking my videos down into little 10-minute um, segments, three 10-minute segments, producing the half-an-hour segment, but also um, the three 10-minute segments uh, as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, start on that process. And, you know, just basically do the same thing, talk about three different things, but uh, break it up. So I'll be having two commercials, uh, but also doing uh, little 10 minute uh, segments and also having guests and again, working um, together on some of these collaborations that we're going to start rolling out as soon as the playoffs are complete. Uh, so pay attention for a Super Bowl announcement uh, for this channel and um, and for other channels, uh, a new channel that I think everybody is going to absolutely love. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about today is um, this Houston game. What's going to go on with this Houston game? We watched that Denver game. It was catastrophic. Uh, and that is not too big of a word. I don't think that's a word that you'd say, well, you know, Pete, I, that's a little harsh. Uh, you know, we are 12 and four and you know, we've done a good job and this team has overextended itself. No, 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 you're wrong. Um, I was on the phone with Watts Raider this morning and, and we had a conversation. And, and the bottom line is that from what we've seen in the games where Derek Carr has not been available, um, incredible collapse by the defense, ineptitude by the offense, uh, and um, just a horrible football team. And that's what we've seen so far. Now, the purpose of this segment is to talk about why we shouldn't see that in Houston. This is the only hope that we have. Um, and I would say that that is because, A, we have seven pro bowlers on this football team. Seven. It leads the National Football League. Now, how can a team look as bad as it looked against Denver, a team that had nothing to play for with a coach that was on his way out the door, uh, no quarterback, no running game to speak of, um, who we had ran the ball for 200 yards against uh, already uh, this season. How could that team look like a, the, 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 the team that won the Super Bowl last year and we look like the Cleveland Browns? And that's the conversation I had with Watts. You know, w without Derek Carr, we're the Cleveland Browns. With Derek Carr, we're the New England Patriots. Without Derek Carr, we're the Cleveland Browns. Again, I don't think Derek Carr is going to win the MVP, um, but I don't see how you can't give it to him. Without that guy on the team, they're the Cleveland Browns. With him on the team, uh, they are a Super Bowl contender. So, again, uh, the Pro Bowl guys, Derek Carr, Khalil Mack, Amari Cooper, Rodney Hudson, Reggie Nelson, Kalechi Assemole, Donald Penn. Now, half of that group little less than half of that group is obviously offensive linemen. So we should be able to run the ball. Um, pass protection, you know, I, 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 I got some, some stuff from a guy that said, oh, the Raider offensive line really is a pass blocking offensive line. No, they're not. Um, they pass block a lot, uh, but these are road graders. All the way across the line, these are road graders. They're, they're every bit as good as Dallas. They could run block every bit as good as Dallas does. Uh, they don't. The play calls are, are not designed that way. They're not practicing that way. So uh, once again, you, you are going to get a little bit more finesse. But all of those guys coming out of college were road graders, maulers, uh, they would be called. So you've got, basically, you have Rodney Hudson, Kalechi Assemble, and Donald Penn, the entire left side of the offensive line. So run to the left. There's an idea. Run the ball to the left. Not out of the shotgun. Just run the ball to the left. There's an idea. So my game plan, if I'm the genius, Bill Musgrave, 
I'd run the ball to the left. Uh, again, not out of the shotgun. If they choose to stack the box, I would pitch the ball outside uh, and see if I couldn't seal the edge. And 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 uh, that's what we should have done against Denver. I mean, I think it's you know what, whatever. Um, Amari Cooper, Pro Bowler. Um, Derek Carr's not there, you know. Again, but Khalil Mack and Reggie Nelson, so we should be able to get some pressure and um, maybe get a turnover. That's how it's going to have to happen. Get some pressure and maybe get a turnover. But what about the alternates? <laughs> you, you have seven Pro Bowl alternates. That means that these guys can also be in the Pro Bowl. Jamey Zalawale at fullback. Marquette King, who was the only guy that seemed to want to play on Sunday. Gabe Jackson. So now you've also got a little bit more of that line. Sebastian Janikowski. We're going to have to kick some field goals. Jalen Richard is a return specialist. Let's get some good special teams going on. Michael Crabtree, your other receiver. And Latavius Murray, your running back. So you have a total of 14 guys that could appear in the Pro Bowl. And you put out that product on Sunday against a team you know uh, that um, really you dominated in your first meeting. You, you put that out there. Uh, I just, I don't understand it. It, it makes no sense to me. Um, but again, it goes to show you that they should create a whole new, it shouldn't even be, you know, most valuable player. A lot of people talk, what is it? Is it the guy that, uh, does the best in a particular season? Or is it the guy that if we don't have him, uh, you know, we look terrible. And there's a lot of things that can be said. Hey, if, if Aaron Rodgers goes down, how good are the Packers? If Tom Brady goes down, the only guy that I could think of where their team might be this atrocious um, would be, in my opinion, like San Diego. You know, to me, I think if Phillip Rivers goes down, I think Phillip Rivers is that team. He's the Derek Carr um, of that of that football team. I think if, if he goes out, that, that team is just horrible. I mean, they're, they've lost everybody. They're playing with nobody. Um, so I think certainly you could say Phillip Rivers, even though he doesn't, isn't having a winning season and hasn't been injured uh, that we know of, could be also a candidate for the MVP, but he's not going to get it because for whatever reason, you know, A, he didn't get injured and, you know, but obviously the, the, the injuries that have plagued that football team, ridiculous. Um, and once again, this guy's playing with nobody and making them look pretty good. Now I wish he would have won that Kansas city game. Excuse me. Um, that didn't happen, but, um, you know, like I said, I, I think that he is certainly a candidate uh, for MVP of that football team. Uh, but, th again, looking at the Texans, this is a team we're familiar with. We played them before uh, in much more adverse conditions, although we did have Derek Carr uh, as our quarterback. So we really have to come in and we really have to do something Again, very, very simple, and that is to utilize these pro bowlers um, and these pro bowl alternates. You're talking about an offensive line. You're talking about a running back and a fullback that all supposedly are supposed to be good enough to play there. So we really – I would make it very, very simple. I would I, – <coughs> excuse me. I would come out, um, and if they want to put eight guys in the box, again, I'd pitch the ball outside. The closer they are in the box, the more space you should have outside. There's only going to be one corner out there. Um, get your wide receivers to aggressively go after the cornerbacks uh, and, and um, you know, come out there with the six linemen and just push everything uh, into the middle. Uh, and then if they choose to, to, you know, try to go outside, I would just run a bunch of slant patterns and, um, you know, just throw the ball right over the top for Connor Cook. Very easy things. Don't ask him to hold on to the ball, make multiple reads. Uh, just really dummy down this defense. We're going to run five or six plays, and we literally – and there's going to be people, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. Sure you can. They did that in Denver, and it worked. Um so, you know, you got a, you got a quarterback that hasn't started uh, and, um, and a football team that seems to be lost the more that you give them, uh, meaning time and thought and, you know, trying to figure out what you should and shouldn't do. I just make it very simple. Very, very simple. We're just going to continue to run these pitch plays. Um, you're not going to run the ball directly at Houston. We couldn't do it with Derek Carr. We're not going to do it without him. 
they're just too stout up front. They're designed to stop the run. That's what they do. Um, but I think that you can utilize the speed of these young running backs, get them in space. Again, maybe just um, throw that little pass out to them uh, and have them get in space and take advantage of that. But you, we, we really need, I would have Richard and Washington both back there, you know, again, on either side of the quarterback, motioning those guys out and just get the ball out as quickly as possible. Um, to create some of these uh, smaller plays. It's not about, well, we haven't practiced that all. Well, that guy hasn't practiced anything, period. So who cares? And what is it that you have to play for? It made me sick that we were punting the ball uh, in that Denver game. What, what, what are you playing for? Well, maybe our defense. No, they can't at this point. Um, so hopefully – uh, these pro bowlers that we have are going to step up. 14 guys have an opportunity to step up and show that it wasn't just Derek Carr. All right, that's it for this segment. And, um, you know, when we come back, we will go into the defense with uh, Ken Norton, a junior. Be right back. 